Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Twitty? I hope you're all Oh, jeez, whoops. <laughs> accidentally kicked Spike's toy box. Hope you're all super well. It is the night time. It's time for a bit of dinner. I meal prepped some sweet potato and... Ah, oh, look, I didn't do a great job. I messed up a little bit with the chicken. It's not very well seasoned, which ain't good, man. Although it is very juicy. So that's gonna be my dinner. I'm just gonna heat that up now. Tomorrow, look. Sam and I have been going to the gym at 8 o'clock, well, between 7.45 and 8 o'clock, and I feel... Uh, I just have no need right now to wake up that early, so we're gonna push it back a little bit for now until I can see a bit of a horizon where I can start to do stuff like some sort of training. It's more just frustrating for me. I'm waking up this early so that I can prep myself for the rest of the day so I can do more training sessions, and I don't know when those training sessions are gonna come, man, so it's just a mental thing that I... I don't really want to have to think about that, so I'm going to push the gym back just a little bit later, which, hey, it's not that bad. I'm also going to cook up some veggies. That's going to be my dinner, and I'll probably catch you guys with my breakfast tomorrow morning. Just heading off the bed. Last thing I have been doing also is just putting creatine right here, also with the little shaker, so that in the morning I'm in the habit of having my creatine with my breakfast right before I go to the gym. Should I have built my physique three years ago, four years ago? Yes, but, you know... There's no point looking back on the past. I wish I, you know, it's frustrating looking back on how I didn't necessarily understand everything and didn't take enough interest into building a physique and building up my body to really be the best athlete I can. That was definitely me being naive and I admit that. But um, yeah, now I've grown up and understand this is something that needs to be taken seriously. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So 100%, I was wrong in the past. Now, we're gonna be the best athlete we can, man. Good morning! I'm a little bit tired. We're heading off to the gym. I haven't missed a day when I needed to go, so that's consistency at its finest. Exactly as I laid it out last night. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I forget which one I've been posting it on, but Sam has still been going for the wall sit record. He's been going through some intense training, man. How long till it ends? It must be close. Oh, he's got about a week. So he's got a week until the competition ends to win 50 bucks. I think the time to beat is like six minutes. I, I wish him all the best, but we'll check in with that today. <laughs> Time's ticking down, mate. So I've finished my workout. Sam never came to the gym. I don't know what happened. Maybe he fell back asleep. But got my session in just under an hour. I tried some core again, which I'm really happy with. And I could do Russian twists and I could do bicycles where like anything that isn't putting a whole lot of pressure on my knee feels okay. Like leg lifts, L sits, anything like that I can't do. Plank, no way. There's a lot of things that involve the legs for core. Uh, even like hanging on uh, Olympic rings and pulling my legs up and down, like that just isn't practical for me right now. So I'm trying to find like little minor exercises that I can do that are all right. So I'm glad I did that. But Sammy, you got work to do, mate. Look at that. Still, uh, what's, what is it? The record? So males, what is it? Yeah, one female, one male. Jesse, if Jesse's a male, then it's six minutes to beat, Sammy. You better get to work, man. Apart from that, pretty stoked. Got it done. It's uh, 9.40 now, so yeah, just under an hour. Oh, always feels good to get the workout done. I feel better mentally right now because it's not super early. I'm happy getting home by like 10. Before I was getting home at nine, and it just left that empty part of me where it's like, okay, I wanna go like train football now. I wanna do something extra, but like there's nothing extra for me to do right now. It's literally just time, so time, 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 that's all it is. Not long now until we get that book and I can start recording every rep, every set, all the weights, everything, and you guys can really kind of track my progress. And yeah, I'm really enjoying pushing myself every single day, well, almost every day. We go three days on, one day off in the gym, I'm really pushing myself. Sam and I are going to have a recover. Well, f I think we're going to have four days off in the coming week just to allow the body uh, to recover a little bit. But the consistency is there with my food, my nutrition, but we're also absolutely killing it in the gym. And I'm so stoked. Really, I'm happy with how it's all going right now. Just got off the phone with Sam and he was, uh, he had a little bit of a sleep hang, which is fine. It's whatever. First off, if you're having creatine, lots of water. I bought this, I think it was like 50 bucks, but it's a huge, 
is it two or 2.5 liters? And I try and get through that plus some during the whole day just because staying hydrated is one of the most important things. So now I feel like I'm a broken record. I'm making my tuna, eggs, spinach, and I'm gonna add some of the sweet potatoes that you guys saw in yesterday's vlog or last night, I can't remember. I also just spoke with Sam and we decided, well, I kind of said that we've been hitting this gym pretty hard and I feel like it's smart for us to take four days off for recovery, something like that. We'll see how we feel after each day goes by, but we need to let the body recover, let the muscles grow. Super, super important. Now it's time to cook up this absolute feed. Oh, starving as well. Oh, bang, bang, bang. Look at that. Oh, I added some sweet potato as well. Oh, wow. So I'm going to finish this. I'll probably relax for a little bit, drink a lot of my water. And I want to have a chat with you guys about, I've had two very long-term injuries that my knee and then I also had my Liz Frank when I was 19, I believe, or no, 18 turning 19. That was about nine months. This has been close to eight months around that. I'm not really sure. I want to take you through how I managed to deal with it because I feel like I deal with adversity pretty well and I can provide a lot of value to you guys. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to document the journey, here to provide you guys with a ton of value. I want to see you guys become a professional footballer or a professional in your field as much as I want to become a professional. I want you guys to succeed as well. Number one for me, going through any sort of adversity, I learned this from my mentor. And if you guys have followed me for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And maybe it's a really good reminder for some of you. Perspective, perspective, perspective. It is everything. Perspective is everything in life. So we take the current injury I have now. I mean, it sucks. We really break it down. Having a long-term injury, it really sucks. When I first got this injury, right before I got it, I was about to go to Queensland that weekend, trial for an MPL one club because they were looking for a winger. Uh, nothing gone. So man, at a cool level, this injury sucks. It, it has been the worst thing. I haven't been able to get on the field. I've missed gym time. Like, uh, it sucks. But perspective is everything. You see, the best way to overcome this adversity and overcome problems that you perceive is to find the benefits in that situation. If you can't find the benefits, you're only perceiving the negative. So right just then, when I was telling you about all that, I'm only perceiving the negatives of that situation. So I'm going, man, this sucks. I want to play football. I want to go to MPL. I want to keep training. I want to play, like, that's just negative, negative, negative. You have to take positives out of the situation no matter how bad it is. So that I can guarantee you, if I really wanted to, I could write a thousand benefits of this football injury. You get into things like a benefit of a benefit and then a benefit of a benefit of a benefit and the list just goes on and on and on. Sometimes you have to do that to change your perception. But what that allows you to do is to move on with your life, not dwell on things and not think that it's the end of the world because it really isn't. So I'm gonna do a practical thing. Usually I just say to you guys, oh, I can think of a couple things off my top of my head that can turn into a benefit. But I wanna take you through I'm gonna sit down here and every time I think of one, I'm gonna just say it out loud and you guys are gonna hear sort of 20 benefits. For me, I only need like five in the top of my head because I understand in my brain how to change the perception just by the click of my fingers. I just list a few off, I go, okay, yeah, this is actually probably a good thing when realistically it's not a great thing. So I'm gonna sit you down and we're gonna get 20 and maybe that'll give you some ideas for your sort of situation. I've been able to discover and play golf. I've been able to hang out with my friends more. It's given me more time to work on steps. I haven't had to do massive amounts of fitness. I haven't had to leave where I am now and move to another country or move to a different state. It gave me time to buy a scooter and do deliveries, which is something I would never think I would do if I didn't have this injury. It's given me time to really focus on my nutrition and forced me to do that. Focus on my upper body in the gym a whole lot more. I can push myself more at the gym because I don't have to wait for recovery days and uh, you know, prepare myself for a weekend's match or a team training session. I've been able to spend more time with my girlfriend. I've come to realize how much I love being in a team environment, 100%. I was able to take some endone and endone, I've only ever had it when I've had surgery. And I mean, that's cool. I got knocked out twice for two surgeries. That's something that I don't know, I look forward to when I have a surgery getting knocked out. With my first surgery, I was able to watch Every, because I was immobile, I was able to watch an absolute ton of NRL rugby and I loved that, something that I would never do unless 
I was, you know, forced to sit down on the couch and do absolutely nothing because I couldn't walk. I started watching a TV series. I stopped because I started walking again. But I started watching a TV series again. Uh, this was months ago, but that was something that was cool to me. Something different. Definitely a benefit. It's made me more serious about steps for sure and making sure that that business as a whole becomes what I envision it to be. I haven't been at risk uh, with COVID at all because I haven't really had to leave the house or been in environments where that's a possibility of catching it and passing it on to my family. I get to spend a lot more time at home with a dog, a spike. That's a cool thing, that's a benefit. Reconsider my, like the benefit of this is reconsidering my options of becoming a pro. And I'll talk about this soon about a possible position change. Uh, and really evaluating that for the future. I think the last benefit that I'll say is just understanding what life is like without football and that it's not the end of the world if it doesn't come back. A lot of people think it is, but it's not the end of the world. And just preparing myself for that with different ideas and different plans um, because that may be the harsh reality, but that's been something that I've come to understand. The benefit is that I've come to understand that football isn't absolutely everything. As much as I think it is, it, it isn't. So there you go. 20 benefits took me about seven minutes to think of. Now I've had a fair bit of practice in this and I understand what to think of. And from there you can go benefits of benefits, but I didn't think I'd confuse you with that. So that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. Sit yourself down. I would write them out so that you can kind of see them and look back on them. But if once you become more skilled at it and more advanced, you can just think of them off the top of your head once you've done it a fair few times. I mean, I did the thousand benefits of being part of a team and oh my God, that was hell. That took so much time. Now, what I want you to understand, just because I'm telling you these benefits does not mean I don't wanna be out there. I said a benefit was not doing fitness anymore. Number one, I don't enjoy fitness that much. I don't think many people do. Number two, I wanna be out on that field, and to be out on that field, I gotta be fit, which means doing fitness training, and I'm 100% down for that if I can play. But because, you know, it's a benefit. You don't have to put yourself through that absolute hell of training, it's super intense. That's a benefit. Doesn't mean I don't wanna do it, no. I wanna be pushing my body to the absolute limit. But that's the sort of benefits that you can think of uh, just to change your perception. We're not here to go, oh yeah, I don't wanna play football anymore. We're, I don't wanna, like, I wanna play golf. I wanna do this. Like, we're not here for that. It's just changing your perception so you can keep moving with your life and understand yourself a bit more and what your goals are. So for me, yeah, I wanna be out of my field, man. <laughs> don't get me wrong. But this is just a perception training session, really. So yeah, that's how I pretty much get through most things. Ah, last thing I wanna say is I just, well, a while ago, I finished making the, well, help uh, organizing the creation of Chebo's Burger Smashers. That was being a really cool project that I also did. It took me a fair bit of time. If you don't know Chebo, he makes burgers. Uh, absolute goat. And I was one of kind of like the lead product. I don't even know what I'd call myself, but I really helped design and manufacture the product and organize the shipment and all that sort of stuff. So that was good fun, enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm gonna end there. I hope I helped at least some of you. Go and try that with any adversity you're facing. A breakup, uh, you know, any adversity really you can use it for. I've heard of some pretty crazy things people use it for, but it really does work. So, take 20, I'm signing up. Make sure you like, subscribe, and enjoy your ass, you